Alright guys, so I'm filming this video to show anyone who doesn't quite get how to get from the London Road Depot to Elephant and Castle. So I'm just designing this as like a little bit of a tutorial video so that you can figure out how to get there. It's quite easy, um, there's just one little mistake that quite a few people are making. So as you know, you come out of London Road Depot and you go into the service tunnel to get onto the main line. I find that tunnel so tedious, especially when you've just got to keep hitting the brakes to sit at 5 mile an hour. So while the train's just going to plod on down the service tunnel, I'm just going to quickly show you on the map. So when you get to the end of the service tunnel, there's a set of points here. Now you need to continue along until you get to this signal, this green signal. You can see that the green path is there. This should probably be on a red signal, maybe it might be a bug. But you've basically got to get the train to this point here. If you stop before that, the the, the points that are here will be set to take you back up the service tunnel so you need to get the train as far along as you can to this green signal here then pull up turn around go at the other end of the cab and head back as you can see the path's clear to Elephant Castle but you've got to get that far first I'm not going to worry about the speed in this time, just so that this video doesn't end up being too long. So as you can see we'll be approaching the point shortly. So we're about to join the main tunnels now and we'll be heading to starting to head towards Waterloo Station. So we've crossed the points. Now if you stop before you get to this green signal, the points here will still drag you back up towards London Road Depot. So you've got to keep the train going all the way through. So you can see we've cleared that now. The train's still clear to go back on itself. So the easiest way to remember it is that it's the first signal that's on the right hand side. So there it is there. So, shut the train up here. Take the key out. And then it's a torchlight walk back up the train. For realism you might want to close those doors back because they don't close themselves if you're going to keep going with the service. For the purpose of this video I'm just trying to do it as quickly as possible. So we're in the next cab, get the key in. I personally like to have the windows open for a bit extra sound. Get the light on so I don't have to use this torch. 
and by coming this far down the line should now be clear through to Elephant and Castle rather than rooting you back up into London Depot. Again, I'm not going to worry about speed on this run, just for the purpose of this video. So the train should keep us left now. Yep, and we're now heading towards Elephant and Castle. So we'll come through Lambeth North Station where you don't stop, you keep going. And we're now approaching Elephant and Castle Station. I've done it that quick, there's a red light, must be another train about to come through the points. See, there's a train coming out of the platform there. And we've got the green light to proceed in Elephant and Castle. So there you go, that's a quick tutorial on how to get London Road from London Road to Elephant and Castle. Thanks for watching.